Hey developers, today we're going to look at animations again using Vue.js, but we're going to look at the JavaScript hooks that you can use with the Vue.js library framework to do some cool animations. I'm going to show you some examples, so stay all the way to the end so you can find out how this works. Stay tuned, and also I might be giving something away, so stay tuned for that. Watch all the way to the end. Let's start. All right, so here is just a quick demo of what we're going to create. So here is uh, something, just a title we have on the screen. If you click on it, you could see some text appears. If you click on it again, it disappears. So this is just a really easy animation, but we're going to see how we can use this using Vue.js using the JavaScript hook. So this is going to be a little bit different if you watched my last video on animations where I was using the transition classes. We're going to be not using those. So here is the code I have so far. Um, all I did was I just added the doc type at the top. I added the script tag so we can have Vue.js in here. I went ahead and added the CSS just for simplicity's sake so we don't have to worry about it. So we have these keyframes called bounce in. I'm not going to explain this, but this is just basic animation CSS. So it's 0%. It's going to have the scale be really small. It's going to kind of fade in from 0 to 60%. The scale is going to get a little bit big at 1.2, and then it's going to shrink. So that's why it gets bigger. It kind of fade. It gets small. It fade. Gets bigger, and then it kind of gets smaller again. That kind of gives that little bounce effect. So that's what we have there. Uh, so we don't have anything here. So let's go ahead and add our view. So we'll do new view. We'll add an EL element here, app, and we'll add a data function. And inside of here, we'll just create a variable go called, I don't know, title, hello. And inside our body here, we're going to have a div tag with ID of app. And inside there, we're just going to have the double curly bracket for the title. Let's see if we can show it. Let's see if that works. All right, so here's our hello. So we know that's working. So let's start first with the first part is just to make something trigger on and off. So if we see from a original example, we had the name War and Peace. So let's change the title to War and Peace. War and Peace. Doesn't really matter. And well, let's do this. Make this H1. H1. We'll refresh it. I'll make it a little bit bigger to see so you can see Warm Peace there. I'm not going to do anything other special CSS. We're just going to keep it really simple. And then we're going to create a variable called show. We're going to put it to false. And we'll just do another part here. Let's actually do something called description. I'm just going to copy and paste some stuff from my other screen here. And we'll add it in. You can see it on the screen. And then we'll have a div here and we'll have a VF directive and we'll have show show. So that'll what that'll do is that'll um, actually we'll do show equals there we go. So this will just trigger the between the two. So if show is true, it'll go to false and vice versa. And then we'll put in our description. And then right here we'll do some click event. This is all basic Vue.js. What this at sign means is that we're going to have basically the same thing as a VON directive and that we can associate with the, some kind of event. So every time you click, it's going to, well, actually, let's do this. Every time you click, we'll then trigger the show not show and then we'll VF show. That's what I wanted to do. So let's see what that does. Refresh it. Okay, so every time I click on it, you can see the text appears. If I click on it again, it disappears. So what this is saying is that this V directive here 
uh, this V on. So I have a click event. Every time the click events on this H1 tag, it's going to toggle show, and then that means this VF will be either true or false. If it's true, then it shows the description. If it's false, it doesn't. So that's pretty simple right there. So now we want to add in kind of that cool transition we just created. So instead of having it here, um, we could do we can do this a few ways, but let's add it with the JavaScript hooks. So if you remember before, we have this. You have to create something called a transition. This is a special element component for Vue.js that tells Vue.js that we're going to do an animation or a transition. And then we can opt optimally give it a name. So we'll, we can give it a name. So we'll give it name fade. And then we need to put in some of the things that we, um, some of our JavaScript hooks. And these are kind of built in here. So let's do enter and leave. Those are the basic ones. So enter, and we'll call it enter and leave equals call it leave. And one thing, one more thing, actually, we don't need commas here. One thing that I also recommend is that you put this CSS equals false. And what this says is, and I have it right here in the official documentation for JavaScript hooks. This is actually pretty good. It says, it's also a good idea to explicitly add V bind CSS false for JavaScript only transitions so that view can skip the CSS detection. So that's why we can have it at the end there. It's probably a good idea. You could see here examples of them doing it. Just so make sure I put in v bind CSS false. And then it's going back to our example here. We need to make sure that this transition is outside the div tag. So let me make sure it's outside this div tag. And let me move this out. That makes more sense. OK, there it is. So we have this transition here, We're calling it fade. We're going to have a JavaScript hook for enter and leave. And then we, as they suggested, we had this vbind CSS false here. So now what we can do is we can add in something called methods here. And inside our methods, we're going to go ahead and add or add in the enter and leave method. So this is where you can put in all, all your methods. And, and if you have any click events, you can have them trigger this. But these are actual hooks. You may remember that Vue.js has lifecycle hooks too. These are kind of similar, but these are just for transitions animations. So we'll add enter here and leave. And in our enter, we're going to put in, uh, it actually has two parameters here. It has L and done, and done. And L is for the element. Every single one of these JavaScript hooks for these transitions have elements, so you can get the element itself. Uh, so we're just going to, right now, we're going to console log enter. And we're going to console log done done and then as it recommends we should call the done at the end that tells it that the transition is done this is not going to do anything but we're going to see if this works so if we click on it we can see enter right here so this enter JavaScript hook got triggered when we clicked it and if we click it again we hit we see done or we can put leave here leave and make more sense so enter, leave, enter, leave. So now that we know that we have these JavaScript hooks in place that get triggered every time this transition occurs, because what this does here, this transition name, is it tells Vue.js that you want to add a transition here and that when this element appears or disappears from the DOM, that certain actions can occur. And that's where you can use the Vue.js classes like I did in my previous video. Or we can set hooks here that we can detect when elements appear or disappear from the DOM or change. So that's why we're getting this 
enter and leave right here. And there's actually a few more that I won't get into, but there is, well, might, we can add them. I'm gonna just copy and paste them here from my other window because I don't wanna type it all. So we have, so there's the enter hooks, there's enter, there's before enter, enter, and after enter. And then for the leave hooks, there's leave, uh, the, yeah, there's enter, oh, there's also enter canceled too. There's before leave, leave, after leave, and leave canceled. So if we add all these in here, so if we wanna use these other hooks, we actually have to add them in here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that too here. Otherwise these hooks won't get fired unless we add them in here. So let me clear this up. Okay. So if we click on it, now we see enter, after enter. If we click on it again, we see before leave, leave, after leave. So this is kind of a good thing. We can see like the, the hooks that are getting triggered every time you press um, the button. So we can do all sorts of animations with that. So now since we have the methods enter and leave, we can do something interesting here. We could, let's see if we can go ahead and just add in a style. So we can do something like el.style.animationName equals bounce in, and then el.style.animationDuration equals 1.5 seconds. So let's see when we do that. So I'm gonna refresh it. So now we see that cool figure, uh, that cool animation when it comes in. But if we click it, it disappears. Now this is where I ran into a little bit of problems. So if we want to do the leave, uh, we can add in. We can kind of do the same thing. So we'll do el style animation name equals bounce in el style animation duration equals 1.5 seconds I mean, we can I always like putting uh, semicolons I know you don't have to but at style animation direction we want to do it reverse so if we refresh it you can see you still get the cool animation when you click on it but when you click on it again, it just disappears. You don't get the animation back. And uh, looking at the console and the source, it looks like the way the CSS classes, if you actually look here, you can see this animation div style gets added, but it never gets taken off. So when you click it again, uh, it just disappears. So since it's already there, it doesn't add the reverse and then do, do it backwards. So we actually need to have it added in there and then remove it. So there's a few ways of doing that. Um, one way I found out, one way to do it, which maybe not the most elegant way, but one way you can do it, is I added an event listener outside the view here. So I'm gonna go into copy and paste it. So what this does is it accepts the element and the done, and it adds an event listener, listener for animation end. So when it sees the animation end, I take the style that's added to the to the class and I just remove it and then I add done and then I end it so if we do that and we can add in um, add event listener event listener and then we can add the el and done here we can add that at the beginning of this the leave and the enter and refresh it we don't have enough there we are. All right, so if we delete this done here and done here and we save it and we refresh it and we click War and Peace, you can see the animation at the beginning. And if you click again, now we see the animation at the end. So that's really simple animation. If we look here, we can see it when you click it. Can you see it? Probably not. When you click it, you can see it adds the div style. It removes it. If you click it again, it adds it again and removes it. 
So that's just real basics. Uh, if you like these type of videos, click that subscribe button and definitely click that little bell button. That really helps me out. And also, by the way, if you don't know, Udemy is having a $10 sale. So if you guys really interested, uh, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and click on those links below. You can get um, amazing courses. It's actually for $10 for the next few days. Just really awesome if you guys could check that out. And uh, thanks. Take care.